Wow, I love studying for verb tenses. It's so fun. Intransitive verbs sure are great. No, transitive verbs are way better. What? No way. Yeah, way. I'll fight you. Oh no, what do we do? Uh, we open the wooden closet. Uh, uh, whoa, where are we? I don't know. You are in verb land. Whoa. How do we get home? You must find the five rings of verb land. Where are these rings? They're protected by guardians around the land. There are five of them, one for each ring. Do you happen to be a guardian? Yeah. Can we have the ring? No! You must answer three questions first. Okay. Your first question. What are the principal parts of a verb? Oh, I know this one. They're the four basic parts of a verb. Your next question. What is the stem of a verb? I know that one too. The stem is the second principal part of a verb. No! Ah! <laughs> it's the first principal part, you nitwit. That leads us to our next question. What is the first principal part? I know this one. It's the present tense of a verb, like jump. Correct. Yes. That means that the stem is the first principal part, which is the present form of a verb. So, you got one wrong. <sighs> but you got two out of three, so you get the ring. Yes. Congratulations. Woo. That is the action verb ring. Action verbs are verbs that show physical movement and can be either transitive or intransitive. Just like you were studying back on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Wait. Come back. Oh, I'm so sick of this Venice Millie voraciously vilifying land of verbs. So, sir, you would like to leave? Aha, uh -huh, verified. Well then, you must collect the five rings of Verbland, as is the law of the land. Pup, the law? I am the king of Verbland. Do I really have to follow this? Not even the king is above the law. <laughs> well, it should be pretty simple, shouldn't it? After all, I am. I rule Verbland. Yeah, it should be simple because you can win this ring right here by answering three questions. Uh, I hand it over. I order you. No. We've been through this. Not even the king is above the law. The <sighs> first question is, what is the pre present participle of a verb. Present participle, you say? It's the second personal part of a verb, and it is formed by adding ing to the end of a verb, such as ruling. Correct. Your second uh, question. What is the past tense of a verb? The past tense of a verb is the third principal part of a verb, and it is formed by adding ed, so it explains things that had already happened, such as ruled. Correct. And your uh -huh. final question to win the ring. What is the past participle? Past participle? And how do you form it? Well, the past participle is the fourth principal part of a verb, and um, you put have in front of the third principal part of the verb. So, tells things that have happened. So. Have happened would be a good example there. Yes, it would. You have won the Aha, ring. Aha! I am victorious! Yes, that is the linking verb ring. Linking verbs. Linking verbs are words that connect phrases to phrases or nouns to adjectives, like forms of to be, such as was, were, and am. Was, were, is, am, are, was, were, be, been, being, have, has, had, do, that, does, may, my, must, can, could, will, would, shall, should, the etc., the etc. I am victorious, and I am on my way for my four other rings. Good luck, sir. Off the river. Yay. Aren't you glad that that peasant back to the town told us that we can find another one of these rings in the riverbank? I sure am. None shall pass. But if you answer three questions, I will give you the third ring nice. of Verbalan. Wait, but isn't that the second ring? I'm sorry to inform you that King Herb, the verb king, is also collecting rings so that he can go on a vacation. Curses evil bones. Yeah! Now what do we do? I know. We can collect all the rings we can and then kill Herb and take his rings. Okay. You were threatening the king there. If I worked for him, I would have had to kill you. Haha, <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> er, just for laughing at me, I'm gonna make these questions hard. What? They're gonna be about irregular verbs. What are those? 
You tell me, that's your first question. I know this one. Irregular verbs are verbs that don't follow the patterns of performing the principal parts. Correct. Your next question is how are they formed? Well, differently? That's correct. For example, we say brought instead of bring. Because a past tense irregular verb probably won't end in ED. Your final question is how do you learn the parts of the irregular verb? Congratulations! <laughs> you got three for three, and here is your ring. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> yeah! This is the transitive verb ring. Transitive verbs ha take direct objects, so they're always action verbs, like punch, kill, and maim. That's quite grisly. Okay. I am arrogant. I am the best in the land. And